हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ क्लास टेन साइंस वीकली टेस्ट सीरीज थ्री सो अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन गिव टू एग्जाम्पल्स सो वट इज न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन वेन एन एसिड मिक्सड विद अ बेस देन they react with each other to form the salt and water with the release of energy and cancel each other's effect this process is called neutralization reaction or neutralization process example when an acid hcl react with base noh they gives nacl which is salt and they also produce water and release heat another example of neutralization reaction is during indigestion we take an ant acid generally milk of magnesia which is basic in nature the ant acid neutralizes the excess of acids and thus gives relief from indigestion our next question is draw the structures for the following compounds ethanoic acid and butanol so first we see structure of ethanoic acid so in ethanoic acid we see that in ethanoic acid one carbon share its bonds with three hydrogen atom and one bond of carbon is share with another carbon whereas second carbon share its double bond with oxygen one bond with carbon and one bond with oxygen and that oxygen share its one bond with hydrogen so this is the structure of ethanoic acid now we come to structure of butanol in butanol we see that first carbon share its three bonds with hydrogen atoms one car one uh, bond with another carbon and second carbon share its two bonds with hydrogen atoms one bond with previous carbon atom and one bond with next carbon atom whereas third carbon atom share its two bonds with two hydrogen atoms one bond with previous carbon atom and one bond with next carbon atom whereas fourth carbon atom share its two bonds with oxygen one bond with hydrogen and one bond with previous carbon atom so this is the structure of butanol our next question is write any three differences between autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition first we see autotrophic nutrition in autotrophic nutrition food is synthesized from simple inorganic raw materials such as carbon dioxide and water whereas in case of heterotrophic nutrition food is obtained directly or indirectly from autotrophs this food is broken down with the help of enzymes autotrophic nutrition presence of green pigment chlorophyll is necessary for autotrophic nutrition whereas in heterotrophic nutrition no pigment is required in this type of nutrition during autotrophic nutrition food is generally prepared during day time whereas in heterotrophic nutrition food can be prepared at all times autotrophic nutrition all green plants and some bacteria have this type of nutrition whereas heterotrophic nutrition all animals and fungi have this type of heterotrophic nutrition our next question is 
ड्रॉ द लेबल्ड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ न्यूरोन एंड एक्सप्लेन इट्स फंक्शंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ न्यूरोन व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फॉलोइंग पार्ट्स न्यूक्लियस सेल बॉडी डेंड्राइट एग्जॉन एंड नर्व एंडिंग्स यू हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस लेबल्ड डायग्राम नाउ वी कम टू द फंक्शंस ऑफ न्यूरोन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज न्यूरोन न्यूरोन इज द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम न्यूरोन कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेन थ्री पार्ट्स एग्जॉन डेंड्राइट एंड सेल बॉडी फर्स्ट इज एग्जॉन वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एग्जॉन इट कंडक्ट मैसेजेस अवे फ्रॉम द सेल बॉडी नेक्स्ट इज डेंड्राइट it receives information from axon of another cell and conducts the messages towards the cell body third is cell body it contains nucleus mitochondria and other organelles it is mainly concerned with the maintenance and growth our next question is what is the importance of dna copying in reproduction so its answer is the copying of dna during reproduction is important because the replication of dna ensures that each daughter cell formed at the end of cell division receives equal amount of dna if dna won't be copied then the daughter cells won't receive all necessary genes there may be absence of important proteins which are encoded by dna if dna won't be replicated copying of dna may result in recombination which will lead to evolution transfer of genetic material from one generation to another makes the organisms to have similar functions stability of population is maintained our next question is explain the terms analogous and homologous organs with examples so first is homologous organs what are homologous organs homologous organs are those organs of different organisms that have the identical basic structural style and origin however have completely different functions for example the four limbs of humans and also the wings of birds next are analogous organs so what are analogous organs analogous organs are those organs of different organisms that have the different basic structural style and origin however have similar functions for example the wings of birds and insects so students after this you have to draw these diagrams these are the diagrams of homologous organs and analogous organs so students these are the question answers of weekly test series 3 which we have discussed today in our next video we will discuss question answers of weekly test series 4 so thanks for watching our video